get it right Trying to find some balance in my life But I never really put up a fight Hey guys, I have so much jam-packed into this video. You're going to see that my house was a disaster and I'm going to be doing a whole house clean and just tackling my entire house. And not only am I going to be cleaning my whole house, I'm going to be doing some serious deep cleaning. And there are some super gross messes you're going to watch me clean in today's video. So if you're looking for some super satisfying cleaning motivation, you're definitely going to find it in today's video. I promise that if you guys stick around, we have a lot we're going to be doing today. And I would just love if you guys would let me know what you're doing while you're watching. You know, are you cleaning along with me? Are you watching to get motivated and then you're going to go clean? But let me know what you're doing in the comment section. But before I got to more, to more of the serious deep cleaning in today's video, I'm going to be deep cleaning a mattress, my couch, and then my shower drain. I was just doing what I always do, starting out by picking up the kitchen and the living room and getting the house set up for some all day cleaning. So the plan for today was to pick up the floors and the countertops, deep clean some of the kitchen. I also wanted to clean the oven and the stove and then other areas in the kitchen before I busted out my carpet and upholstery cleaner and started deep cleaning. Um, and I was planning on deep cleaning a mattress and one of my couches. And if you guys stick around, you're gonna see what I pulled out of my shower drain when I was deep cleaning my master bathroom. I did not expect this at all. It was so gross and the smell was horrible. So stick around to watch me clean that drain because I guarantee as soon as you're done watching me, you're gonna go run and clean your shower drain as well. Make sure you stick around for some super satisfying cleaning later on in this video. I'm going to be deep cleaning a mattress as well as using my carpet cleaner with the attachment to clean some spots on our couch and then deep cleaning our master bathroom where I took off the drain and it was pretty gross. So stick around. We're going to be doing a lot more deep cleaning. Think you know I want you for myself. I don't need anybody else. I get asked about this little tool pretty much in every video that I use it in, and it's the Rubbermaid Power Scrubber. I got it from Target, but I think you can get it from multiple stores, and it just lets me get into so many areas that I normally wouldn't be able to get into. And I think one of the more common questions I get about it is, 
isn't it the same as a toothbrush electric toothbrush or a just you know a regular toothbrush a cleaning one and i would say no because it comes to a point it actually comes with two different heads and one is pointed so it allows me to get into the cracks of the sink or around faucets or in other areas and i use it all over my home so if you guys want to check it out i will have it linked down below I just want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video and i truly hope you take something away from this video whether it's motivation or entertainment just something and i hope that my videos can add some type of value to your life and if you're new you're new to my channel i'm jamie i'm a mom to three girls i am married to my high school sweetheart mike who we met in middle school so we've known each other for a really long time and i truly enjoy making content here on youtube i would love to have you be a part of my journey a part of my community my goal is to be able to make your life a little bit easier and help you out in some way so if there's something i can ever do for you just make sure you send me a message because i'm here for you and you know i i have this channel because of you guys so thank you i would love to have you guys join my journey subscribe and if you want to get to know me a little bit better i have a get to know me playlist that has more of like my personal videos my twins birth vlog and all of that so that will be right here and also linked in the description Glowing in the dark, I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark. If you're wondering what's in that spray bottle that kind of has the purplish, bluish bottom, which by the way, I got that spray bottle from Glo Grove Collaborative, but it's a glass um, spray bottle, but it's my DIY cleaner of one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, and about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap. I really don't measure out exactly. I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea. Um, I don't think it really matters the exact amount, but I use this cleaner on my countertops to shine my stove. You'll see me using it all over my house. And if you make this cleaner, I am telling you, you will love it. I promise. Glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, yeah, you're glowing in the dark. So just a way to get to know you a little bit better, I am curious, what is the first thing you wanted to be when you grew up? So, you know, think back to when you were like five or, you know, what did you want to be first and foremost? And the reason why I'm asking you is because Avery just started kindergarten and she said she wanted to be a doctor. And what's funny is that's what she said she wanted to be last year. So it's just interesting because I'm, I'm sure it's pretty rare that, you know, a four-year-old and a five-year-old, you know, would say the same thing, you know, that I want to be a doctor. So I'm like, does she really want to be a doctor? Maybe that's just truly her calling. Um, for me, I always wanted to be a teacher. That is what I went to college for. I never wanted to be anything else ever. I always wanted to be a teacher. It never changed throughout elementary, middle, high school. I went to college. I got my four-year degree in education and my master's in education. So just let me know what was the first thing you remember that you wanted to be when you grew up. If you're real, I want to put you in that spotlight, looking at you all night, put you in that spotlight. Oh, you make me feel fine, want to look at you all night, put 
So this is an area by our stairs because of the baby gate that we have here. You can't really get under it all of the way. And so the dog and cat fur and hair, dust, dirt, all of that collects under here. And I've always been too lazy to do this when I'm vacuuming every single night. So today I was actually tackling that. I definitely have my lazy moments and times that I take shortcuts. And this is clearly one of those areas. And I also think that when you're watching my videos, you may not see the full picture. You may think that my house is clean, but I have these areas. And I just, I want to be able to share these areas or not so clean areas with you because it's something you don't always get to see. And I want to show you that I am real. My house is, you know, really does get messy. And there are areas that I neglect and I don't always clean. So... Hopefully, that helps. So, something I've been wanting to do for a while was deep clean... Avery's mattress. I'm gonna get her room kind of picked up so I can put the mattress on the floor and then I'm gonna deep clean it. Now I've researched this. You can use a carpet cleaner to clean mattresses. You just have to be careful. You can't, you don't wanna get them too saturated. Um, but, and you also can use them and you also can only use them on certain mattresses. So like I was thinking about doing our mattress but ours has a memory foam topper on it and you're not supposed to use it on a memory foam topper or memory foam mattress or specific types of mattresses. Avery's is an inner spring mattress and you can use this specific machine on her type of mattress and it kind of works out because her mattress was actually, <laughs> this may sound really bad, <laughs> but it was my mattress growing up so it is an older mattress. We we kind of have it on our list, like, yeah, we probably should get her a new mattress. Um, but when we got the bunk beds, it was like, this was our guest bed, because it was the, the bed that I used um, growing up, like not when I was really little, like in high school, and then Mike and I used when we first got married. And then, so we have this mattress, and then we did buy a twin for the bunk beds. So we've kind of had it on our list of things we need to buy and purchase, but I figured until we do that, I'm gonna deep clean it, so. I'm gonna get her room cleaned up so I can pull the mattress down and then we're gonna deep clean. And then also there was an area on the couch downstairs where something got spilled. The twins didn't spill it, but they caused me to spill a drink on the couch. So I am going to take this down really quick and do the love seat area. I know it looks like the mattress was getting super wet, but I was really careful because I didn't want to get it too wet. And then when I sucked up the water from the mattress, I made sure that I kept going until there was no more water getting sucked back up. And the mattress actually ended up drying pretty quickly. It was all dry before Avery went to bed this night. I don't 
think you can really see maybe some of the marks. Yeah, there's some water marks right there. And then a couple other stains. I know, guys, I know. <laughs> I know a lot of you have seen me do this multiple times already and every single time I am blown away by how much dirt comes out of these couches. It's pretty satisfying to see it all come clean and I'm just glad that we have this machine before we get our new furniture because the plan is to keep up on it and not let it get so dirty. But um, also not all carpet shampooers come with this upholstery attachment so i'm sure i paid extra for it meaning the machine was probably more expensive than a machine that doesn't have this but i think it was totally worth it i will have the machine linked down below i have two links one is from amazon and one is for kohl's i know some of you have gotten this machine from kohl's when you had kohl's cash or a kohl's coupon so two links depending on where you like to shop it's not a cheap machine at all but i am telling you we have earned our money time and time again and while the world is spinning faster every night i feel i'm stuck in reverse somehow but it ain't no one's fault that i am stuck here no one to blame this on feeling so hopeless i keep on pouring salt on my wounds when i shouldn't stay i feel Okay, I brought this up here to dump into the laundry sink, but ugh, so gross. Wrongs don't make one right. I gotta pull it together before it's too late. And now a glass in my mind a light. I know it's all my fault that I am stuck here. And then when I was done with the mattress and the couches, I moved on to the master bathroom and I was just planning on putting things away, wiping things down like the vanity, the mirrors, cleaning the shower and then vacuuming and mopping. And then you're going to see me go into the shower. I was not planning on taking off or cleaning the drain, but you'll see I got down there and I decided to take it out and because there was only two screws there, I was like, hey, I should probably clean out the drain because we were having some issues with the water draining. Well, I was pretty shocked at all of the buildup that was in there. So when I'm cleaning the shower, I will usually spray down the shower first and then I go and clean the toilet and that allows the cleaner to kind of sit there for a few minutes before I go in and scrub. And I don't, I feel like I don't really have to scrub as hard when I let it sit. And to clean the bathroom, I'm using the Lysol Hydrogen Peroxide Bathroom Cleaner to clean the shower and the vanity. Yeah, but it's hard to forget That's in my head
so then i went in and i was just wiping things down you know the easy part which is actually wiping down the shower but then i was going to go in and then get into the cracks and the crevices of the shower doors which i hate hate cleaning they always get so gross and they're just a pain to clean but i had my trusty rubbermaid power scrubber to really help me break up all of that soap scum that was on the shower tracking but what's the reason it hurts so bad i want to lay in my bag feel from all that's in my head no. i want to try something new live another point of view And then while I was in there deep cleaning, I figured, why not take the drain off? There were only two screws. Not that hard, right? I was not prepared for what was under this drain. So you'll see me taking the drain off. And then clumps of hair was just hanging from the drain. It was so gross. It did not smell good at all. Like it wasn't like a horrible, horrible smell, but it smelled bad. So I don't know. And it kind of permeated throughout the bathroom. I had to go in and spray something super nice because it just didn't smell good in here while I was cleaning. Who knows how long this clump of hair had been hanging there, but I was glad to get rid of it. And I hope... I'm not grossing you guys out too much, but this is just real life. So right now you need to go clean your drain, but, but then to actually get into the sides of the drain and the top of the drain cover, I was using baking soda and vinegar and that kind of bubbled up and broke up some of the gunk and then I was able to easily wipe it off. And then I went in and vacuumed and mopped in the bathroom. And to mop, I was using my e-cloth mop. And if you're not familiar with e-cloths, they are mops or cloths or whatever you're using that you use just water to clean. They attract bacteria. I'll have a link below if you don't believe me or if you wanna read about it. I know it sounds crazy, but I promise you they work. So you just have to let the mop, get the mop head wet with water and then it Velcros right on there. So I like keeping this mop upstairs because it's super easy. Like if I wanna mop, all I have to do is grab the mop head, get it wet, put it on the mop 
the actual mop part and then I can mop super easily and quickly and I find that it's a lot easier to clean when I keep cleaning supplies on both levels of the house. I used to not keep a mop upstairs and I probably would mop very infrequently just because I was too lazy to go downstairs and get a mop. So keep supplies on both levels or all areas of your home and I bet you clean more frequently. You're looking at me so cold. Get over yourself, are you for real? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now we're enemies. Mm -hmm. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong. I'm ready. done with the master bedroom I wanted to come into the twins bedroom and pick that up and this is what happens when we kind of just left them roam free in their bedroom which we do sometimes when they get really cranky in the evenings and they've had their baths and it's too late to go outside we I think they just get tired of being in the living room and the kitchen it's like cabin fever they get cranky and they whine so bringing them upstairs it's like a change of pace change of scenery it just changes everything and just changing things up a little bit helps with their mood and we're, we're not taking them out a lot of places any you know right now just because of everything so they don't leave the house too often so they get bored really quickly so bringing them up in the in their bedroom kind of helps out a little bit and we'll shut the door and let them kind of go for it and have fun and this is why it gets messy able to tell the truth no one else can see you like i do all you ever do is say how far you wanna go baby i can tell it's just for sure every line designed to let me know Do your kids get toothpaste all over the countertop in the mirror just like mine? It's like, what was she doing in here? Just playing with the toothpaste all over the countertop because that's what it looks like. Just some more chit chat to kind of get to know you guys a little bit better. What are you looking forward to as the year comes to an end? And I know we still have plenty of more months left in the year, but it's been a year for everyone. What are you guys looking forward to? I am certainly looking forward to, you know, the holidays. I feel like all of this stuff happened at kind of like a dead time um, in the year, like not a lot of like fun holidays and hopefully we have, you know, Halloween and then Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of that fun stuff that I know for me, I get to look forward to with my kids and the twins are a little bit, well, they're old, older this year. They won't know what's going on, but it, it will be fun. So I'm looking forward to those type of things. 
And then before my nighttime cleaning session, I wanted to fold that load of laundry that I had started earlier the mor in the morning and get everything quickly put away. And I find that if I start my laundry in the morning and I do a load every single day, it helps keep the volume down and it doesn't take me as long to fold or put away. It's like breaking it up makes it much more manageable for me. and I don't dread doing it as much if I know that it's not a huge load to fold and put away. So that's what helps keep me on task and forces me to do at least one load every day. Think you're gonna be And then after the twins went to bed, Avery was actually still up because she had soccer that ran a little bit later tonight. And so she came home, she took a shower, and her and Mike were having a snack before she went to bed. But I had gotten the twins put to bed, so I was going to finish up my nighttime all day cleaning session. So what I typically do at night is I vacuum and mop. I always wait until the end of the night just because the floor will get messy and dirty throughout the day. So the floors were actually really dirty tonight and I was looking forward to finishing up and making sure the floors were really clean. Baby good friends hanging on When the daylight comes we're just good But that's actually going to be it for today's video. Please give me a thumbs up if you found this video motivating and you enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know what you're doing while you're watching this video. Make sure you have the notifications on and that you're subscribed. And I want to thank you a million times for sticking around the, this entire video and continuing to come back and watch my videos every single week. You guys are amazing. I cannot say that enough. So thank you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. All right, and here's proof of a satisfying day of cleaning. So all of that is from today. I will admit, I have not vacuumed in a while. <laughs> so I'm gonna go empty this right now so I don't forget next time I vacuum. Just like this. Will we find home or will we stay just like this? Cause when the day I